Hey, I'm Kurt Ballou from the band Converge and God City Recording Studio, and I was just on August 2018's episode of Nail the Mix. See, I think I started recording um, in the first place because I was frustrated with my experiences in, um, in other recording studios, working with other engineers. I think I had some ideas about um, how I wanted the recordings for my band to sound, but I, I wasn't able to get recordings that sounded like what I heard in my head, and I didn't really understand why. And um, I did actually, I did not actually aspire to record myself initially, but I thought if I like learned a little bit about recording that I could make demos of our songs, but also like sort of understand what a um, what a recording engineer went through when they were making recordings, and maybe if I knew some of their techniques and and some of the the jargon that I'd be able to communicate with them better. When I'm making a Converge record, when I'm writing a Converge song, like I, my my sort of standard of you know whether this is good or bad is based on like not in, in terms of like pleasing a fan, but like am I is the band carrying itself with the um, with the level of dignity and the level of sincerity that I want the bands that I'm into to carry themselves with. So I've, I've always sort of had that as my, as my milestone of success and not in pleasing people. And I think the fact that we've, we've gone our own way um, has been one of our strongest assets. I think that we're, we're very bad at fitting in with other, other groups. We're very, very bad at emulating other musical styles and other you know, other visual styles and all that. So sort of, I think that going our own way was the only thing that we could do. And um, sort of as a happy byproduct of that, we've really carved out a nice niche for ourselves. And, um, and I said it a lot actually in interviews that I would rather make a unique sounding record than an objectively good sounding record. And I think uh, the same goes true with um, the songwriting in Converge, as well as like the uh, the visual approach to Converge, is um, unique. Is not that we don't want it to be good, but like unique, individual, uh, expressive. That stuff is more important than like um, stuff that's objectively good. See, I think of a producer's role in any recording project as. Um, as the person who picks up the slack of whatever's not being done already. Um, really, a producer is um, a project manager. A pro producer can wear a lot of hats. So if there's not an engineer attached to the project, um, if there's not a bass player attached to the project, if there's not a manager attached to the project, if there's not an A&R person attached to the project, the, the producer can be any of those, those roles. Really, their job is to, um, is to figure out what is lacking and then do that. The singers are especially hard to record just because um, it's such an emotional, it's such an emotional thing for them because their body is their instrument and their lyrics are their thoughts and they're they're putting all that stuff on display for um, for an audience to judge and so it requires a lot of work, especially with singers making them feel comfortable and and letting them know that you are you know a champion of their cause and you know that can. It comes up, you know, you have to size people up a lot, you know, you spend time with them. And I'm fortunate that my job is really social. And I think just being social friendly with the people that I'm recording is, um, is really important in, um, I mean, I don't intend for it to be like me, like, you know, manipulating and then getting them to trust me, but it's, um, it's just something that happens very organically where like, um, the people I'm working with, we become friends and we become very trusting of each other. And having that level of trust is super important. And I think that that's one of the main reasons why, why people come to record records with me. Yeah.